The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 will be 10 times better income, with features missing from the S range longer to be sharing the details right after this. If you knew him would stay up to date with the latest text, please subscribe, followed by the bow. You can also keep up on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So it was only a couple of days ago what we last spoke about the Galaxy Note 20. We now had news of a much 20 feature that was missing from the S20 Ultra. We also got benchmark results, display information at case leaks, screen protectors and new design information up to the Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. Before we get into it, though please like the video if you're a fan of the Galaxy Note series. Let me know in the comments which version you're waiting for. If it's not the Note then what phone are you excited for first use of today? Though is going to leak that I actually missed from last week, protective screen cover on leaks. Gives us a very good idea of what we should expect from the Note 20 it is of course our pretty much full screen display with minimal bezel round a few people are saying that this means it will get an in-display selfie camera because of the lack of a poncho, but this just isn't true, it's simply a protective screen cover, it doesn't need a poncho is pretty much falls in line with all of the leaks we've had so far, unfortunately it doesn't tell us anything new, but I thought I would show it anyway next week, to keep insisting for the Snapdragon 865 plus is pretty much confirmed the existence now considering it has been appearing in a lot of places, or this benchmark isn't for the Galaxy Note 20. We can assume that the Note 20 is can get a similar score, given it's using the same chipset. The Snapdragon 865 Plus has scored a single core score of 973 and a multi-core score of 3346 this is of course higher than the S28913313 we don't see a huge multi-core score increase the single core score is much better than the standard 865 it's only going to get better with more optimization next up we got plenty of news about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 display and use the Note 20 Ultra it can have the feature we all wanted on the S20 Ultra but of course we didn't get it when it comes to the display ice universes advise the standard Note 20 is can have a wide frame a flat screen a full HD resolution but it's only can have a 60 hertz refresh rate he compares the standard note 20 to the galaxy a 91 and suggests galaxy note 20 ultra ice universe also advises us that bezels on both sides narrowed by no 0.3 millimeters the forehead and chin have been narrowed by north point for the selfie camera poncho is been reduced by a whole millimeter we also get a curved screen on the note 20 ultra and it is an ltp of display with the quality c plus resolution it's pretty much a full screen display he also advises coming with new camera functions as well as s10 features so it's no doubt can be an incredible phone number the best news is given us so if you remember back to the s20 ultra release was a lot of disappointment when users discovered they have to make a choice they can have a 120 has display and full hd or quality c plus display at 60 hertz but they could couldn't have both the same time. While the Note 20 Ultra has changed all of that, if the user wants they can enjoy a quality C plus resolution is a smooth 120Hz refresh rate given. How much that was complained about the time I think it is can appease many the only thing that we need to consider is that it may use more battery ice universe has also stated that the note 20 ultra will surely succeed and i have to agree they've improved the display and hopefully fix the autofocus and be that little bit harder due to issues globally that may be reducing consumer spending but let me know in the comments if you think this is can be a successful release well not of course we've already had to the samsung galaxy note 20 and the note 20 ultra they've also been used to create more stunning 3d renders as we can go through all of them for my regular viewers the two guys have already seen this bit so just get to the next video if you are new here and don't forget to subscribe to get right into it the samsung galaxy note 20 is coming with a 6.7 inch amarillo display with a poncho selfie camera top center while many were hoping for the display selfie camera it's not going to happen and it's most likely going to be for the s range the dimensions come in at 161.8 x 75.3 x 8.5 millimeters which makes the note 21 millimeters thicker than its predecessor significantly larger overall one thing that you may have already noticed is it flat display on the Note 20. I'm assuming this is can please a lot of you were my most complained about features in the comment is of course the curved display you can see the on the Note 20 record the volume and the home button on the right hand side, leaving the left side completely clear. We take a look underneath record USB type C port microphone a speaker grout same trays now located at the top of the Galaxy. Note 20 on the rear record rectangular camera module, similar to the S range, is 38.1mm long by 21.9 wide Samsung reportedly still working on these cameras, so we don't have any confirmation on what they can it be. It's expected it would contain either the HM1 or the G and 1 from Samsung. We can of course see that we've got three lenses on the left, with the periscope lens on the right underneath the LED flash. You can see the back panel is curved on both edges, with slight curves. 
in all corners and overall looks like a comfortable device to hold. And still a very premium smartphone next up we got my favorite, which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus these renders were provided by Pictal and our leaks. We have most of the details of this still some unconfirmed information. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus is coming with the largest 6.9 inch curved Amarillo display recorder, poncho camera top center. We have plenty of display from Ross Young, we have since deleted the tweet since we can only assume is an issue, always been asked to remove them, we're expecting an LTP of display, but again, the poncho selfie camera as in display camera is just ready, yet the 165 x 77.2 x 7.6 millimeters with the trim down bezels, it is pretty much full screen with the volume and power buttons on the right hand side with the left completely smooth the bottom now is the same as the Note 20 with the S Pen at the far left, followed by speaker USB port and microphone on the rear. We got another rectangular camera housing we can see it is a little bit different from the smaller Note 20 have to say. I much prefer this one looks a little bulky with bigger lenses, actually really like these camera rings, and I think it adds to the premium look the device we go to cameras on the left, which reportedly could be the Samsung HM1 and the GN1 with the periscope lens underneath over on the right hand side. See a true depth camera underneath the LED flash again, the edges are on the back, and overall, it looks like it can be a great device. We still haven't had any details on the pricing, and probably won't until close to the launch towards the end of the year, which can be interesting to see why they price it. The Note line is always the most premium of the range, well apart from the newly added, followed the S range, with price relatively high. That sold less than expected it, so this could affect the pricing on the Note. One thing we do know though, the camera and general hardware, and of course, we don't have much longer until it's going to be released now can run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Plus, and we'll get right into it of course the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is can be an incredible smartphone actually one of my favorite releases this year will likely see improved design display at cameras, and more for anyone who's missed my previous videos will quickly run through what we can expect for my regular viewers you would have already seen this so just switch off now. Before anyone knew him going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 24 the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past things have been changing lately. To be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20 last year we had the Note in two sizes which was 6.3 inch and 6.8 inch displays we then have a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming under the estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display of course more often sizes are generally getting larger so publicizes are going to rise to given the success of last year's notes and also can predict we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 21 automation when it comes to displays run to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 27 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 plus expecting both models to be 1440 x 3200 resolution and that will be a 120 hertz dynamic AMOLED like display windowed out in the sea and in display fingerprints, along with Gorilla Classics for protection. When it comes to the selfie camera the Note line actually let the innovation for Samsung last year can be interesting to see whether they stick with the poncho camera top center of the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether many are curious with the in-display cameras can be available for consumers one Samsung have this technology already my guess would be introducing it on the Note line. But unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this stack as likely can be something we see in 2021. When it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be cooled about no doubt that we can see a rectangular camera housing Samsung have stuck with this across the mid-range and that flagship this year. So the Note 20 should be no different Samsung have also been get will get a 108 megapixel ISA cell sensor with pixel bending technology will get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities will get an ultra wide angle for this is why Charles will also get a 3D time of flight that sensor will soon no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus compared to the standard Note 20 in the hardware department we know the Galaxy Note 20 is can be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Axonal Sign 90 globally with the up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 GB of RAM and will of course be expandable with a microSD card given the larger size the Galaxy Note 20 plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 milliampere hours on the Galaxy Note 20 is can be around 40 300 of course both Galaxy Note 20 second be running Android 10 in the form of one UI to it will be IP68 water resistant the Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and number three and a half no headphone jack and most importantly for Note finds it will be coming with the much left as pendant. Using Bluetooth 5 we have had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen. Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the ICE universe has leaked the specs for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The key specs include a Snapdragon 855 Plus CPU, an LTPO display that supports QHD Plus resolution and 120Hz at the same time, and new S Pen features. 
The Note 20 Ultra is thinner than the Note 10 Plus, the bezels are narrower, and the punch hole is smaller, too. A new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 leak has revealed the specs for the Galaxy Note 20. And it looks like a pretty impressive flagship. Our source is Ice Universe, one of the most reliable leakers around. They've given us various other leaks about the Galaxy Note 20 series in the past. Update June 20. The images and videos that originally circulated with the specs leak apparently show the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and not the new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, according to a follow-up tweet from Ice Universe. Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Release date, price, specs, screen sizes and leaks Galaxy Tab S7 Plus leak reveals huge battery to fight iPad Pro just in. Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 leak reveals mammoth display the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the most fully featured version of the Note 10 series. This is encouraging off the bat because other rumors point to the standard Galaxy Note 20, having some very lackluster specs in comparison. We've heard many times that the S Pen stylus will be getting improvements, but there's no specific information on how yet. Last year saw the introduction of air gestures, which made the stylus a remote control for the camera and let users perform actions by waving it around, so we'd imagine Samsung's going to build on these in some way. As for the camera upgrades mentioned, we have heard that the rear cameras of the Note 20 Ultra will be enhanced by a laser depth sensor. This will hopefully help the 108MP camera that's also rumored to appear on the Note 20 Ultra, since its first appearance for Samsung on the Galaxy S20 Ultra was marred by autofocusing problems that made taking pictures difficult for many users. This improvement is likely achieved by the rumored use of an LTPO display, a new display technology that allows much greater power efficiency by dynamically changing the refresh rate from anywhere between 1 Hz and the maximum 120 Hz displays are notorious for their power consumption, it could be a shrewd decision by Samsung to make use of this technology. Ice Universe's second tweet discusses how the size of the Note 20 Ultra compares to the Note 10 Plus. It is all good news by the looks, with shrunken bezels on all sides, a smaller punch hole for the selfie camera and decreased body depth. Galaxy Note 22 launch at the start of August 2020, released towards the end of the month when it comes to pricing it will of course be an expensive device, prices are expected start at about $1,100-$1,200, for the standard Note 20 around $1,400-$1,500, for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus will Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, as it may also be cooled, given the success of this as light models, it's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line, as a great time to be a Samsung fan, with so many phones being released for the company, we get a huge selection in a range of the premium S and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy that flip phone that have to say it is the flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me with this is because I see it as a little bit unnecessary, it's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being overcomplicated for a very little reason of course that's just my opinion though, and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the fold of course all the information estimates we have today, but as soon as any solid information comes to light, I'll be sharing with informations, along with the stunning renders that concept artists have already brought together as always, though I'd like to know your guys thoughts, and the comments there's waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 what you think about this new display information, but please subscribe, like the video, comment, thanks for watching see you on my next video one